Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel. In the previous video, we have seen about the class based animation, right? So, the class based animation, how it will work? If you see here, the box thing, it is existing. Okay, if you try to see the output here, the box, the div element is existing in the DOM. So, for the existing element, we are applying. So, that one is not removing from the DOM or not adding dynamically in the DOM. So, it is already existing. So, for that existing element, we can write the animation for the existing elements. Now, for example, from the Vue.js, if you are adding dynamically, you are adding dynamically the element using the VIF for anything, the DOM element. If you want to animate, animate those type of things, how you will be animating that one? Okay, so that the element is not existing in the what I can say in the DOM. So, that is dynamically adding by the Vue.js. So, then for that animate for that for those type of elements. If you want to do animation, how we can do the animation? We will try to see. So, for example, if, if I try to open the Vue.js, okay, Vue.js uh, website, and if we go to the click here for 3.x documentation, and here if I go to the get started, and here you will be having the animations. So, if you see here overview, we have seen the class based anim animations we have seen. Now, we need to see the here enter and view. So, view provides a variety of ways to apply the transition as when items are inserted, updated or removed from the DOM. So, that means the if the items means nothing but the elements, okay, HTML elements, if they are inserted, insert means added dynamically, updated or removed from the DOM. So, these are uh, changes from the DOM, how we can apply the animations. So, these uh, animations can be added using the third party, uh, not third party, wrapper component using a component transition okay so these these transition wrapper component will be used to apply the animations for the dynamically added or removed elements so that means the dynamically added means how it will be so conditional and using vi if and if using vi if and show dynamic components component root nodes these are all dynamically added things so for these type of components if you want to add the animation so we need to use the transition wrapper component so, how we will be using this transition wrapper component? So, they have given a small example, the paragraph thing. So, let us try to implement this example using uh, uh, same this paragraph thing. Let us try to implement. So, now let us go here into our project. Okay. So, before continuing to this video, as usual, if you are coming first time to here, please, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Okay. Now, coming to this video, let us try to create a new component so that this animation thing will be separately separately to do so i will create it the paragraph okay the paragraph dot view so this is my component and here i will be having a template okay let's have this template and all the things so first let let us add here um, import import the paragraph from dot slash component oh sorry import imports import spelling is wrong okay sorry import the paragraph from component slash the paragraph dot view okay so this is the component i need to mention this one in the component section so components you will be having the components here the paragraph okay so you need to remember these all those things right so here give class is equal to my3 okay my3 so margin top and bottom y axis it will apply the uh, margin so the paragraph I, I will be adding the paragraph okay so this is the component so fine now let's go to the component so here the component you will be having the div and here i will write some div hi leela okay so something i have written and here what i will try to do is now here i will write write the script okay here in the script i will write export default data so something like this so this is the thing. Let's try to see the output. First, we'll let's try to see the output. If I try to see the output here, I'm able to see the high lila here, right? So I'm able to see the high lila. Are you able to see? I think yeah, you are able to see. Now here, what I'll try to do is I'll make it as class is equal to text center so that it will be in the center of the screen. Yeah. Down, what I will try to do is down. I will try to add a button. B U T T O N button. So toggle the text. Okay. Toggle the text. I will use toggle text. Okay, so this is the paragraph. We will take it as p, p tag or do tag, anything you can take. And here it will be type is equal to btn, btn hyphen primary. Okay, at the rate, click 
sorry click dot prevent is equal to on toggle i have written on toggle okay on toggle the method and here let's go here to the methods so now on toggle i can write so now on toggle what i need to do i need to write i need to create one one property that is nothing but show paragraph so in order to show the text and hide the text so first time it will be true okay we will try to show it first time it will be true and on toggling what i will try to do is this dot show paragraph is equal to not of this dot show paragraph right so toggling so true become false false become true now i need to show it vi hyphen if when i need to show show paragraph when this show paragraph is true sorry when this show paragraph is true then only show the text okay now if i try to see the output fine if i click here hiding showing okay so now oh type is equal to so you need to apply the class here okay yeah so now if i click here it is hiding it is showing it is hiding it is showing so hiding and showing is fine so it's fine it's fine but the thing is the animation is not happening so if you want to apply the nav nav animation to this one how to apply the animation so how we can apply the animation so for the, this one is dynamically added in adding into the data uh, into the dom and it is dynamically removed so if you try to see this highly lie here in the dom if you try to see here in the console so here you will be able to see that highly lie is there right p tag if i click here so it is directly removed if i add here it is directly added so for this dynamically added thing how we can do the animation so view provides us with a wrapper component that is transition you can keep this transition component so for which for which element you want to do the transition okay so you need to remember that this transition uh, component should have only one root element okay this is the rule for this one okay now we will see if you want to apply this transition what the view js will do is so if you try to see here what the view js will do is so here vue.js will apply the classes okay so it will apply six classes for this one and it is called as enter and leave transitions what is this enter and leave transitions so first class will be v hyphen enter hyphen from enter hyphen one from means so here if you try to see so here i am i am when i am clicking so it is entering okay hi lila is coming to the dom so when it is entering first the class will be applied is v enter from so when it is starting to enter this class will be applied v hyphen enter to so this one will be this class will be immediately after applying this class will be removed okay uh, removed one frame after the element is inserted so after the element is inserted it will be removed and v hyphen enter to will apply when the when it is after the element is inserted okay so after the element is inserted so when after the element is so after immediately after we are entering v if and enter if to element is will be inserted and this one will be removed when the animation finishes okay and v if and enter if and active is the is the class which will be stayed until and unless v if and enter from is applied and removed and also v if and enter to is applied and removed okay so these both things applied and removed until then this enter if an active will re remain okay and active state for enter applied during the enter interface added before the element removed when the so up to then it will be removed this class can be used to define the duration delay and easing curve so this is the class where we will be applying the uh, easing duration animation transition and all those things in this class we will be applying and enter from and enter to we will be applying so from uh, how we need to appear and ending how we need to do, do. So interactive will be doing the animation in the same scenario you will be having v v if and leave if and from v if and leave if and to and also the v if and leave if and active so these are the three classes how it will be applied so here if you try to see the same scenario so when when the animation is leaving when the ins, uh, when it is going to be removed removed and v if and leave if and to so after it is removed and vf and vf and active will remain like that only so here if you see so when the animation is applying vf and enter and from will be there vf and enter and to will be there so this whole duration vf and enter active and enter and active will remain so in the same scenario here okay so now we will try to apply the classes here so for a transition to apply what it will happen so we have we have learned that style here we have read we have we can write here scope okay and here i can write v hyphen enter hyphen from okay and here you will be able to see v hyphen enter hyphen to 
okay you can see v hyphen enter hyphen 2 also and another one what we have seen dot v hyphen enter hyphen active so for entering these all the these are the classes it will be applied so using these classes we can write the animation so first what we can do is opacity so first time opacity should be zero okay and it should come transform okay translate y so top so i can do translate y of minus 10 pixel okay from top it should come in the same scenario what i can do after entering so after uh, complete entering it should be opacity 1 and transform what how it should be translate y okay translate y of 0 pixel so these are all durations so from enter 1 to enter so for, from becoming opacity and transform for applying so what i can do here transition i can apply the transition so what i need to do all so i want to apply both opacity and the transform it should apply so 0 0.3 seconds so i need to apply the transition uh, i want to apply the animation like this now if i try to see the output here if i try to see the output refresh this page and if i try to see the output click here so for the leave you didn't write so for entering see the animation has been app applied see we are able to see the animation so if you apply the one second you will be able to see the animation more more easily so now if i try to see the animation so here we are able to see the animation but when we are when the text is leaving we are not able to see the animation so when the text is coming only we are able to do the animation when the text is leaving we are not able to see the animation then in this scenario now it will come the dot v hyphen leave hyphen from okay see this is the thing and here i can write dot v hyphen leave hyphen to okay and here you can see dot v hyphen leave hyphen active okay these are the three things now what i can do leave hyphen from means so i can reverse this uh, trans, uh, reverse this animation so first it should be opacity 1 and it should become uh, it should become opacity 0 so that means it should go away and here i need to apply the same transition so i can apply the same transition so let's try to see the output here if i try to see the output here refresh this one okay now if i click here so it went away if i click here it came it if you click here it went away if i click here it went see so i am able to apply the animation for the text thing so this is how we will be making use of this transition wrapper component and using of this classes that has been added by the transition component so v hyphen enter hyphen from v hyphen enter hyphen to v hyphen enter hyphen active for entering for inserting when the dom when the element is going to be inserted when the element is going to be removed these are the three classes leave hyphen from leave hyphen to and leave hyphen active will be applied okay if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you